The lives of young children move quickly as they develop and grow. But have you ever stopped and really looked at how they are thinking? How they make meaning of the world around them? If you look closely, two-year-olds' natural curiosities lead them to investigate concepts in the areas of science, engineering, and math. However, they are not doing this alone. Toddlers need engaged adults to recognize their interests, respect them as problem solvers, and provide increasingly complex language that deepens their understandings. This is STEM, and young children explore STEM concepts every day within language-rich environments. As the children worked with the water tubes and the water beads, they'd pour them into the top of the funnel, and I had asked children how the water was moving fast or slow, where it was coming out, or if it was full or empty, how they could make the, ball, the water beads fall through the tubes and out to the different locations. You're making that one full. Is it getting full? Yeah. Yeah, full. And you build on their knowledge from past experiences to make the experience more than just splashing on a water table. The water lifts the water beads up and then it falls down the tube. Before it was, oh, well, let's put out the water table and it'll be like, oh, 15 minutes and now we have to come up with something different. Whereas now they're staying engaged with an activity for longer by bringing other materials from other areas of the classroom. We're filling and emptying and he, I was catching water beads and how many were in my hand and how many fell out. What happened when, what happens to the water when you pour the water and beads into my hand? Where did the water go? So staging those questions so that it, it allows them to explore further and then allowing them the time to look and see what's happening, not just giving them the answer. The water's going through, but not the water beads. Why won't the water beads fall through? Sylvia and I try to look at what the kids are interested in, and then we, we come back together and reflect on, okay, this is what they're really into. How can we scaffold and build on their knowledge of this thing so that their interest can grow and their knowledge can grow with it? They are engaging in STEM every day. When we ask them questions, they may not respond back with words, but they respond with actions and they, they follow the questions. Um, what happens if you pour the water into the tube? Where, is, where, where are all the beads going? I think that's where you can see literacy coming into STEM is introducing that, those vocabulary words so that they can build on that and you just see their, their word banks are getting bigger and bigger and it's great for them to be able to add different words and a lot of the times they might be hard words for them to say but we if we we work to just repeat and repeat and they eventually pick up on these words with the like balls and ramps we would look at it and be like okay well there's motion and there's force and there's gravity and kind of just reflect on that and then the next day re um, try and implement that more into our classroom and just do that over and over again. <laughs> so I think in the beginning when they said STEM and a toddler and infant classroom um, was kind of scary. Um, what do you, what does that look like? What, what does that mean? Um, but as we've gone through the project, we've realized that it's, we've been doing it every day. It's just incorporating it more intentionally. I think you're probably already doing it. You just have to recognize that you're doing it and build upon that. You can look and see that when you're cooking, you're cutting things into, you know, you're working on math as you chop one into many different pieces and you're outdoors, you can talk about the science aspects of STEM that kids are so into. To support toddlers' engagement in STEM, narrate while children play to build their word banks. Ask questions and watch for how they discover answers. Combine materials from different parts of the room. Recognize ways to incorporate STEM concepts by reflecting on children's interests and daily routines.